What's up people? I'm Tessa and welcome to your full body toning workout today. Yes, we are working the entire body using some free weight dumbbells, so make sure you grab those before we get started. I'll be using a lighter weight and a heavier weight, um, so give yourself some variety today, all right? We will have a warm-up round, that way we can get our body warmed up, stretched out before we start into the strength training. We got three different strength circuits that we will only repeat two times through. We got 45 seconds each move, so it should feel pretty doable today. So go ahead and grab your weights and your playlist. I've got no music on my workouts, that's on purpose. So if you don't know where to start, I do have a link to a suggested playlist in my description below. And while you're, while you're down there, don't forget, like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out, guys, and I really appreciate it. So. And let me, yeah, let me know how you, this workout is for you today. So grab your things, grab your water, you want a towel, and let's go. All right, so let's get started with a quick little warm-up. We'll start today with some hip circles. We're going to be opening up those hips, swinging that leg up and over an imaginary chair, child, table, whatever. Just start kind of juicing up those hips, hamstrings, even the core, think about tightening your core up. Start connecting your breath to your movements. This is round one, we've got three for our warm up. So just really take your time, focus on waking up your body. All right, now we're gonna go into a squat switch. Let's go ahead and walk this out. Toes pointed forward, abs in, reaching down. Step it together on your toes, and then repeat other side. Reaching those arms all the way up overhead, getting them nice and straight, waking up those shoulders. Make sure those toes stay pointed forward. All right, same thing, toes pointed forward, feet nice and wide, we're gonna sit back into our hips as we reach down ooh, and feel that inner leg stretch. Oh my. <sighs> Sitting back into our booties. We're not going forward, we're not going to the side. <sighs> we should feel that nice whew, or painful stretch. All right, bring it down to the ground for a high plank position. We're gonna walk our feet out as wide as we can get them and then walk them back to center. Belly button pulling in and up towards your spine. Breathing through the last five seconds before you get a little mini break. All right. All right, 30 second break. My heart rate is already elevated. Hopefully yours is too. And now we've got round two and three. Let's try to pick up our pace, pick up the movement, make it more of a workout, okay? Keep your body up, keep it moving. Get ready. Up and over. Try to keep that leg up a little bit higher. Push it out a little bit further. All right, we have squat switch. If you want to add a little, whoop, a little, whoop, <laughs> uh, just to take it up a notch, do so, or you can keep it low impact. Just try to keep that movement, pick up that pace just a little bit. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Arms all the way straight overhead. <sighs> Get nice and low. All right. Side lunge, sitting back and back. Waiting those heels, toes pointed forward. 
Lunging a little bit deeper if you can. Get that hand all the way down to the floor. Picking up that pace. All right. We have plank jacks now. So instead of walking those feet out, I want you, if your core feels strong enough, if you feel ready, we're actually gonna jack those feet out and in, keeping those booties down. We're not up here, right? Booties down. Woo! If you can't seem to keep your booty down, then I really want you to focus on walking it out, building that strength. All right. Oh. Walk it out. All right, it's just a warm up. It's just a warm up. Sometimes the warm up and like the cardio stuff is so much harder than the weights. Oh. But we need them both. Okay. Last round. Make it your best. Don't lose form though. Don't try to just rush through the movement. Really try to focus, hone in on that form, making it your best performance yet. Core tight, bring that foot up, oh, wrong way. And bring that foot all the way back to center, not, not out here. Bring it back to center, and that all comes from the core. Okay, here we go. Right here. Get a little bit higher as you get a little bit lower in that squat. Chest up. Even though you're reaching down, I want to see that chest up, face, eyes, and knee. Nice deep breaths. Almost here. Oh, it's the worst. You got this. Bring it out of the ground. Last time, ass in, hips tucked under, eyes in line with those fingertips, over those wrists. We're not back here. We're over those hands. You only got 10 seconds left. Make it your best. All right. All right. Oh, the worst is over. Grab some water towel off. And I will set you up for our next Move. You want to grab a medium lightweight. Let's go ahead and get this timer correct. We've got 45 seconds. Deep breath. Oh, I got that wrong one. We rested, we are not resting. We are not resting today. We've got 45 seconds each move. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three, four, and then you'll get your rest. Starting with a side lunge, cross body pull. This one's for the legs, core, shoulder. So opposite hand to foot, we're gonna reach down towards our leg, keeping the shoulder pulling back Sitting back into your heels, we're gonna push off, core squeeze as that weight comes across your body, holding at the top, and then replace, repeat. So you can see my arm go across the body, kind of creating a diagonal line, palm facing forward. So it's facing the leg, and then it's facing forward, 
protecting the shoulder. If you feel like you can't quite control that weight, go down and wait. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. Make sure as you side lunge, same thing as before, sitting back into that heel. Get ready, here we go. And balance, squeezing that core. If you wanna hold another weight by your side, just to give that leg an extra challenge, you may do so. Oh, 
fucking hurt. Boston! Ah. Hold up. Push-ups. Push-up, push-up. With that Superman. Hands underneath those armpits. Shoulders pulling back. Lifting up through your core. Do not forget your core. Inhale as you lower. Exhale as you push. So you're going to grab a medium weight for those shoulders or lightweight. We'll see. Let's get started. So we've got curtsy, boom, boom, pressing those arms nice and tight overhead and then switching. So you want that back foot to kind of meet your hip and you want that knee to come through that pocket. So you're sitting nice and deep into that front leg, this hip right there. And then abs pulling in as you press over head. Make sure you put weight in that back foot. That weight is evenly distributed. Last one. All right, drop that weight. I'm going to grab my 10. So a little bit of a heavier weight here. We're gonna get into a nice deep lunge. We're gonna do a row into a kickback. All right, so this hand is behind this arm. The arm is behind the hand. We're gonna pull for a row, shoulder pressing down, kick it back, release, release. For the full time here, we'll do one arm and then we'll switch when you hear that buzzer. Now 10 might feel or that heavy weight might feel too much for that tricep. As long as that shoulder is staying where it is and you can lift it up, you're doing it. All right, other side. Pull, extend, release, release. Nice and slow, in control. Try to get your upper body as parallel to the floor as you can. Check your shoulder. No twerking it forward. So that shoulder will be pulling back the whole time. It's always good to remember to bring that hip, that uh, elbow towards your hip. So you're pulling back. Extend. And release. All right. Oh man, let's finish with a low plank spider. Crawl. So on our elbows, 
and our toes pulling in and up. We're going to bring that knee out to our shoulder. <sighs> Exhaling, working those obliques. Well, working your entire core. <sighs> nice deep breathing. Woo. Nice and slow. Don't you rush through this one. The slower you go with those core movements, the more your core will thank you. Woo! You get a break. Oh my God. I'm dripping. It's hot out here, guys. It is hot out here. All right. I didn't wear my waterproof mascara today, so I start to get a black eye. Now you know why. All right. Just back to your double curtsy press. Last time, even though I don't want to anymore. None of us want to do this. Nobody. Nobody actually wants to do this. Oh, but you show up anyways. Because it feels good to feel strong. And it feels good to do something you actually didn't think you could do, right? You got 10 seconds. Two. I forgot. We have our little plank. Spider-Man. Let's go. Last time. Woo. Bellman pulling in. Hip stuck under. You're almost there. Here we go. Go. 
Let's go ahead and set up for the next one so we don't have to rush through it. I'm gonna be grabbing my five, so we want a lighter weight. Woo, here we go. We have a chair squat into a side raise. So toes pointed forward, feet are hip width apart today with this chair squat. Arms by our side, shoulders back. We're gonna sit back into our imaginary chair, stand up and then bring those arms out to a T. So sitting back, keeping that chest open and up, no leaning forward, all right? So really, really focus on keeping your weight in your heels and your abs squeezing in. Your abs, abs, abs are working over time when it comes to the square chair squat. We have a single leg bridge. We're going to switch legs halfway through. Push that weight in your heels as you lift and lower shoulders pressing down, chin off that chest, pressing through that heel. Lift and squeeze that booty at the top. Woo, it burns. And switch legs. Glutes. 
Press through that heel. Ow. Two, one, and switch. Make sure that foot is underneath you. Shoulders are down, chin off the chest. All of that tension is right there in that lower body. Breathing. Oh no. High plank. High plank, abs in. Bring that knee in. Twist it, drop that hip. This one is not fun. Oof. Ha. Don't come down. Don't come down. I want to come down, but don't come down. You got five. Woo. Fast feet. Last time. Fast feet. Drop. Give me that burpee. And drop. Core tight. Pick up that pace. Take up that pace and drop. Squeeze and squeeze. Light on those toes. Drop. Woo. Almost there. Almost there. Drop. Finish strong. Finish strong. Drop. And. Don't leave. Ah. Woo, it's a struggle. Oh man. Oh man. All right. Wipe that sweat off. Grab some water and let's cool that body down. Kicking that booty, knees pointing down to the ground. <sighs> Wipe the mascara from your face. Bring those knees up, march it out. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, 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 keep marching. Up and around. You just feel everything just like, woo. At first this was hard, yeah? And now it's like, okay, yeah. Just keep the leg moving nice and wide. Toes pointed forward, reach down, stretch out that inner thigh, and switch, and switch, and switch, and then bring it into a lunge, 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 bring it back to the center for a deep side lunge, walk your hands other side. Oh, you feel that? Oh my. Other leg. Lunge, lunge, lunge. And then set that back leg up for a forward fold. Pull on those hamstrings. You feel a nice release in that lower back. Relax your neck, your shoulders, your head, your jaw. Look up halfway. Release. And then breathe it up. And exhale as you open and close. Stretching out that chest and back that we worked. Now I do have a five minute deep post workout stretch. Pull on that tricep as I talk to you. Um, go ahead and click on that now for a nice 
five minute, really getting that soreness, tension, at working it out of your muscles. So important to stretch, stretch, stretch after every workout. So click on it now. Don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Comment, let me know how you did, and I hope to see you guys here soon. I'm Tessa. These are workouts for normal, sweaty people. And I will see you here next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.